guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Frigga Liffy. So, it's about eight or nine weeks into quarantine here in the UK. I don't know how your quarantine is going in the rest of the world, but I know that for most of us, life has changed and many of the things we used to do outside, we can no longer do. One of those things for me was going to the gym. I was never a gym bunny, as you can see. I was never ripped and buff. However, I did really enjoy going to the gym a few times a week, especially on the days when I was working from home to split up my day. Just to go out to the gym for half an hour, 45 minutes, get a sweat on and come back really used to help me. I used to run um, as well, but I would go to the gym more often in the week and I was kind of building that up. And if you've seen any of my past frugal spending videos, you will know that one of the things that I am happy to spend money on is a gym membership. But for the, t but for the past two months, gyms have been shut. So I've been working out at home. And actually it's got to the point now where I don't think once the world opens up again and we're allowed to mingle, that I will go back to the gym. The reason being is I found some really, really good home workouts that I've been enjoying that have been effective. And it's inspired me to make this video today. So it's not a workout video. I'm not gonna be taking you through a workout plan. But what I have been doing is using YouTube to work out from home. And I thought for all you frugal people out there that like to work out and actually still like to go to the gym, I thought I would review some workouts and give you recommendations and my thoughts and feelings on some of the popular fitness YouTubers out there today, some of the programs that they recommend, let you know how I got on, whether I had any results. Um, and I'm gonna be doing this now as a frugal exercise series. I'm gonna be following different programs over a number of weeks. Some things I will be doing on their own, some things I'll be doing back to back. And so I I hope you like it. If you wanna see more videos like this, please do give me a thumb up. up. Okay, quick hair change, but I'm back now. So I decided to kick off this series using Chloe Ting's cardio workout playlist. If you go to her channel, under her playlist, you can see she has a 15 video long playlist dedica dedicated to cardio workouts full of full body hit um, ab workouts um, and I thought it would be a good place to start. Now I did not do the ab challenge and I did not do the shred challenge. I didn't want to do anything faddy like that. I just wanted to have something that was gonna be the basis of my workouts in the mornings before I started work. Now at the same time, I have been doing other things and there'll be a few more videos outlining the yoga the skipping and the Afrobeats dance that I've been doing as well. But before I tell you what I thought, what my results were, um, and whether I recommend them as a good frugal alternative to going to the gym, take a look at me working out for the past 14 days and I'll be back. That wiped me out. I can't even talk. I just need to stretch and cool down. And then I'll be back. And then it's time for work. And I don't know if I'm gonna stay awake. But that felt amazing. I'm really excited for the next 13 days. All scared. Feels like the same thing right now. Day seven complete. I'm halfway through. I'm feeling good. And I just measured my waist and it's got smaller. 
results in seven more days though. Let's see how we get on. That was day 14 of Chloe Ting's cardio playlist on YouTube. There are actually 15 videos, but when I started this, there were only 14. So I put two together. You can see the sweat coming, that was a good workout. So my bad that I didn't take any before and after pictures, but I'm hoping that you can see from workout one to workout 14, that my body has changed. So I started at approximately 12 stone one pound, and as of weighing myself this morning after my workout i was about 11 stone 13 so i lost a, approximately two pounds i have manual scales not particularly precise not great but i was happy with it and the reason why i was happy with it is because i can physically see that my body has shrunk but that i have likely put on more muscle over the last two weeks, I have definitely become more lean. Now, something that was really important to me, so now something that was really important to me was my waist measurement. I'm very stomach heavy. Day one, my stomach measurement at my widest point was 35 inches. As of workout 14, I was 33 inches and three quarters, so just under 34 inches. So that was a loss of one and a quarter inches. Unfortunately, I didn't take measurements of my arms or my legs. And I wish I had, because for me personally, I lose weight first in my legs and my arms. I lose it last in my upper half. So I can see that my back fat has reduced and that's kind of what has um, shrunk my waist. Um, if I'm completely honest, I did measure my waist a few days earlier and it was 33 and a half, but I'd had some carbs and some cheese the night before, so I may well have been bloated. It's, it's fine. This isn't really so much about like hard and fast numbers. It's moving in the right direction. So two weeks, I did lose some mass. Um, I didn't lose a great amount of weight, but I do think I put some muscle on and lost some fat. I look a lot better in my body. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot stronger. So from that point of view, the results were good. But what did I actually think about the workouts? So what did I think about the workouts? Let's start with the pros. So even though this playlist was called cardio workouts, it focused on building body strength. You use your resistance, you use your body weight to build resistance and that formed the basis of the workouts. And I will say I felt myself getting stronger every single day. My form, which was not great across the two weeks, did get better. I was able to hold myself in positions. My endurance got better. My stamina got better. But there was a noticeable difference in my core working and my ability to do press-ups. I actually can now do more press-ups. I'd lost my ability to do them years ago and it's come back. My upper body strength, my ability to plank and do workouts in planks, even my burpees got stronger. So in terms of strength and using resistance, if you're looking for abs and full body workouts, this playlist is definitely for you. Chloe Ting does a really, really good job of making sure that you get every part of your body working, engaging all of your muscles. And in a 10, 20, 30, 50 minute workout, you can do a, a 
full, full body workout. And actually, I personally find that a more effective way of um, working out as opposed to just kind of um, focusing on one particular spot and working that over and over again. She uses a hit style of workout really effectively. The workouts are 30, 40, 60 minutes on, often five or 10 seconds off. Between sets, there will be a 30 second break. So it's a workout of volume rather than intensity so you're you think you start off and you're like it's not too bad you know you can get on with it but like the the pace and the volume of the workout really really like creates heat gets you sweating gets your heart up she also offers great modifications um so if you are in an apartment like myself and you actually care about whether your neighbors are bothered by your jumping you can do uh, the lower intensity. If you um, have bad knees, bad joints, or you just aren't able to keep up the intensity, there are modifications. The, the videos are very visual. You do get a snapshot of the move that's coming next, so you can start preparing for it. The breaks are so short that if you can see the move coming up, as soon as you get a break, you can get into position really quickly so you can maximize your exercise time. And then also something that I really love is the progress bar. Um, there's nothing that I hate worse when I'm working out and it's tough and I'm like, when is this gonna end? There is actually a progress bar. So you can kind of see where you are if you're 49 minutes through, if you're 75 minutes through, if you're 11 minutes through the workout, there's a progress bar and all the sets are set out as well so you can see where you are in the workout and I find that is actually really motivational when I feel like I'm about to fail in a 30 second burpee for example uh, if I can see that there are only 10 seconds left I'll push through for another I'll push through for another rep I'll just keep trying to move the in the video are really good I find them really really useful and the fact that you and the fact that you are exercising with her she's doing the workout at the same time as you is incredibly motivating so now to the cons i will admit the exercises get incredibly repetitive it's not very creative lots of burpees lots of up and downs um lots of repetition of the same workout every so often there would be a new move in a video but you could always anticipate how a video was going to start um, and what moves were going to be expected, even if you didn't know the order that they were going to come. And I have to admit that by my second week, I'd lost a lot of enthusiasm because I knew what was going to come um, and I could anticipate when I was tired, my body not wanting to do something. Um, it dampened my, it dampened my enthusiasm. I still went through the workouts um, I still did every single one to the best of my ability but um, any excitement for something new completely disappeared I think the only exception to that would be the 14th video where there was a couch workout now because it was a couch workout I actually found it the hardest of all of them to do because I had to be even stronger so the strength that I'd been building over the last two weeks was taken up a level. I needed an extra level of strength and endurance and stamina and holding my core to achieve those workouts. And so that kind of showed me that you're kind of going at the same intensity for most of the workout until something new comes up and you realize, oh, you haven't quite progressed. So because of that repetition, I would say that I wouldn't follow the same program, this program for much longer than a couple of weeks. You would want to step it up increase the volume or the intensity and push yourself further. Otherwise you're gonna hit a plateau pretty quickly. So con number two, though the warm up was often fine, there wasn't always a warm up. And from the most part, there was not a cool down or the cool down was not sufficient. So with that in mind, I would always warm up and cool down and stretch using a separate video. If you make the mistake, especially for some of the shorter videos, there is no warm up at all. So if you make the mistake of doing the workout and thinking you're fine and then going off for the rest of the day, 
by the end of the evening, you are going to be incredibly sore and incredibly stiff. So make sure that you find either Chloe Ting's cool down, warm up videos, uh, stretch video, or do something that warms you up and cools you down and stretches you yourself before and after the video. Just be, just be warned because it completely gets missed out in many of the videos. Con number three would be that in general, these workouts are not going to be sufficient for you to meet your goals. Working out for 10 minutes is not going to give you the fitness or the body shape that you are looking for. So if you are doing one of the playlist videos, I would recommend doing another form of exercise with it, whatever you choose. But um, I wouldn't get sucked into that sense of security that doing a 10 or 20 minute workout is going to be enough. Especially if, it, especially if it's very ab focused, you probably want to balance it with something else in the day just to make your workouts more efficient. So, so that being said, do I recommend Chloe Ting's channel as a good alternative to a gym membership? Based on the one playlist that I followed, I say yes, I do recommend it with a few caveats. Now, the excellent thing about it is it's free. <laughs> Compared to a gym membership, it is absolutely zero. It's free and that's brilliant. See on YouTube and I think on Instagram, other social media platforms, that a lot of people have documented how following her workouts have completely transformed their bodies. So I think as a tool to whatever it is you're trying to achieve, Chloe Ting's workouts will definitely help towards your goals. I think if people are honest, they will tell you that they're doing other workouts, that they are intermittent fasting, that they are reducing their calories and all manner of things, as opposed to exclusively using her workouts. However, they are useful as the foundation of your workout. It's not even a program, just a playlist, um, and it was still useful. I would say that because the exercises are not difficult, the barrier to entry to working out is low. And so because of that, you can wake up in the morning and just work out for half an hour. But my caveat is it can get boring. As you get stronger, you probably need to push the intensity. So I would recommend people considering Chloe Ting's workout as a frugal alternative, but I would definitely mix it up with other things. Okay guys, so that's my review of Chloe Ting's um, cardio playlist workout. I will be starting a Blogilates program on Monday. It's a 28 day summer body program. So hopefully in a month time, you'll see my progress. Up next, you should be getting a video on my skipping progress the yoga that I've been doing most days and the Afrobeats dance I've been doing for my cardio at the moment. If there are any other workouts that you would like me to consider giving the frugal stamp of approval, please do drop down in the comments and let me know and I will try to check them out. Okay guys, until next time, please subscribe. Bye.